Hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? This is Josh314 coming at you from my lovely house in Connecticut. I'm here at my personal shelf today right now because of the mass restrictions. Normally I'd like to go out into the community, show you where I'm getting my books at, but this is going to have to do for right now. So the purpose of this video today is to help all you MFers, you merchant fulfillers, not just FBA, but merchant fulfill like I do, figure out how do you pick a profitable book off the bookshelf. Uh, you see a lot of different programs and videos out there geared towards fulfilled by Amazon, but I'm going to take a different route today. Okay. So one of my, one of the apps, the main app that I use is Scout IQ, which I'm going to show you today. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but for the data analytics and the reliability of the customer service, I think it's the way to go. I'm also pairing it with the Opticon 2006 today. It's uh, the Ferrari, as you know or you're soon gonna find out of the Bluetooth scanner world, but starting out with a $20 Bluetooth scanner like I did is perfectly fine in the beginning. Okay, so without further ado, what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you the app, Scout IQ. Okay, I'm gonna pop me up there so you can see me still. All right, so this is the dashboard that you're coming to. I just wanna show you a few things. Uh, the settings, all right, I'm running data and live. To speed up things, we can always go to live only which I'll show you what it looks like in a difference. I, I wish somebody had taught me this early on, but so we'll run in live, live only at first to get the most reliable data real time. Okay, so let's go back and let's go right into scouting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scan my first book. All right, see it takes a little bit longer, but you see that picture in the lower left-hand corner? That is how you know that this book was run against live data. Now let's go ahead and I'll take a step back and I'll just go to data and live as if you would download the database, which you pay a little bit extra for. Now let me run the same book. See how there's no picture in the lower left-hand corner? That's how you know that it's not live in its database. So as long as you up update your database every single day, it's no big deal. But say you go weeks, maybe a month without updating that data, you're using old data. All right, so to get the most reliable um, best source of books, uh, especially when you're paying premium for them, you want to make sure you're running in, in your live data. Okay. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of this screen that I'm looking at right now that you're looking at. Okay. Starting in the top left-hand corner. If you were to click that profit tab and I'm running merchant fulfilled, there's merchant fulfilled fulfilled by Amazon. It breaks down all the fees as if you were to buy it at whatever price it's highlighted at right now. So you see Amazon price is highlighted if you're gonna sell it at 450. Uh, if you sell it at 560 and your buy cost in the upper right hand corner is $2, which is pretty high, especially starting out. Okay, you're expected to only get 96 cents if you sell it at 560, okay? Going down the rank, 21,000. Like I said, there's 65 million book titles an inventory of Amazon right now. Every category has their own um, ranking system. It varies. I'll put it down in the in the description below. But you see that rank is twenty one thousand, which means that it's probably selling a couple a day, if not a couple a minute. So the E score right next to it is going to be roughly how many it's selling in a month, and that's just a score created by Scout IQ to let you know another metric to should I really buy this book? Then we're going 123 used, uh, which is in that gray box right here. Then there's 21 new. That's the inventory currently in Amazon system. And then it breaks it down on the left column. It's merchant fulfilled, the prices, and if you see that AGV, that's acceptable condition, good or very good, okay? Um, Amazon, when they give you the data through Scout IQ, they only give you the top 20 offers. So if that first FBA offer is not within the first 20, you're not going to see it. Um, but I'll just do a little test really quick. I'll hit the live button. Still doesn't show up. So moving on down, you'll see that the they have a used buy box, a new buy box. And if you're not familiar with it, uh, just really quick, the buy box, if you go to Amazon, it gives you that option to buy now. So if somebody were to click that buy box, that's how much they're paying for it. And it might go to an FBA offer. Um, I've very rarely seen it go to 
a fulfilled by merchant offer, okay? And then you get into these other tabs, which I can cover later on, but I wanna go ahead and run through some, some quick books for you really quick. So I already showed you this first one. Uh, it's a fiction novel. I could have told you just by looking at the shelf, and that's what I do. I look at the shelf, I see, I try to play a guessing game with myself, is what's the most profitable book on this shelf, all right? Um, but I'll go ahead and scan a few. So if you heard the ding, that's a bad ding, okay? Doom. This is a good ding. So what most people do is they'll put the earbuds in, they'll just stick their phone in their pocket, and they'll just scan, 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 and they'll just keep running the data until they get a ding, and that's how you know, okay, that's a good book. Let's pull out the phone, let's look at the data, okay? All right, so On Combat, one of my top five books of all time. Really good sales rank. I've sold this book maybe three times. I'm not selling this one because it's a signed copy. Um, and this is my third copy. But if I was to list this book, given the sales rank, the amount, the e-score, uh, the amount in inventory that is, I would probably list it at uh, $21.95. You know, make people feel like they're getting a deal. Uh, I'll cover that little green box to sell back your book at a later time if you're curious about it. But if I was to sell this book back to a company that takes the duds that I can't sell, they would actually pay me $12.43 without having to wait for it to sell on Amazon. So let's go ahead and keep moving. My next book is going to be The Five Love Languages. I've spoken about this before. All right, so scan it. It's a bad ding, right? Don't want this one. There's 255 used. Come on, man. All right. Always Rachel just found this one yesterday. Holy smokes, right? So if I were to buy this book at my buy cost of $2, okay? Let's go into this profit tab. Okay, so say I select to sell this book for $85.48, right? It's, it's going to end up costing me $12.82 in fees. Closing fee of $1.80. Total fees, almost $15, right? Profit of $68.86. And really quick, I just want to show you if you go to Fulfilled by Amazon, look, you're going $62.85, a couple dollars, right? So it's not that big deal on these big books, but when you're when you're trying to sell a book for $5.60, okay, just really quick before the end of my video, let's look at uh, love languages. All right, so let's go in and look at the profit tab. You're losing 274 versus getting 91 cents for it, right? So that's all I got for you guys today. I just want to thank you for coming and supporting me on this channel. I love all the love you guys give me. Go ahead and smash that like, hit subscribe, and leave me some comments down below. I'll look forward to you next time. Thank you.